public restrooms. You inevitably have to use them, especially at the office. So Rhiannon hit the streets to get some general bathroom etiquette. It's all in today's He Said, She Said. It's one of those things no one really likes to talk about, bathroom etiquette. And there are certain things that we all know are taboo. Like picking your head up over a bathroom stall, for example. But as we spend more time at the office, that means more time in the bathroom. So we asked men and women their etiquette tips for keeping coworkers from going crazy. I get skeeved out when people don't wash their hands. And you know who doesn't wash their hands. I see a lot of guys, they, first of all, they don't wash their hands, but they don't flush. There's just no, no etiquette. They see a lot of things at truck stops and things like that. It really scare you. When people go to the bathroom and they don't wash their hands living out in the bathroom. <laughs> Bad, gross. <laughs> it's unusual to see people talking to each other in, in bathrooms. I think people want to get in and out of there as quickly as possible. It's not a social gathering. If you need toilet paper because there isn't any in this stall that you're in, that's a different story. But you know, yeah, conversing back and forth, no. There's a time and a place for everything, I think. And a bathroom is a time for chit-chat and conversation. You know, I think that's something that should be left in your own private restroom, bathroom in your home. <laughs> I don't think that's something for um, a public restroom. I think some people are very conscious of what they bring in the bathroom. They think if they bring something in, someone knows they're doing something in there that will take them some time. With my daughter, I have a limit when we're out in public. She only can take two pieces of paper towel, and she knows that and she'll yell at me if I take more than that. I think two. Uh, more than that, I think you're taking away from the next person. I do see people uh, texting. My son texts while he's in the bathroom. Uh, 19 years old, and he texts while he's in the bathroom. Cell phones, it's, in our day and age, everybody has them. Um, not being rude and not speaking loudly, having your conversation loud enough that everybody can hear, I think is, uh, is wrong. Uh, I don't think it's a place for conversation or carrying on meetings in the men's room. It's rude. It's rude not only to the people who are in the bathroom, but also to the person on the other line. Carrying my cell phone on me. If it rings and you're in the bathroom, eh, whatever, answer it. I don't have a problem with that. So Uncle Mike will be here on Thursday? Oh, that's great. Oh, hey, Mom, I gotta call you back. Okay. And remember, common courtesy. And you might want to keep those work conversations limited because you never know who's in the next stall. Hey, Lindsay. For better, I'm Rhiannon. And if you've got coworkers that just don't follow the rules, consider having a meeting and coming up with some uh, things that you guys can all agree on and then post them in the men's and ladies' restrooms.